while the news columns are abuzz about the Chrysler 200 and the smaller Dodge Dart, going out of production later this year, newly built examples are still arriving at dealerships. Priced low and backed by incentives, they're poised to tempt consumers looking for a deal. We haven't been particularly impressed by the 200 since the second generation car came to market in mid-2014 as a 2015 model, but neither have we been so critical as the folks at Consumer Reports, who put the 200 on their bottom picks list of the 10 worst cars of 2016. It's probably no coincidence that sales of the 200, which came out of the gate strong enough to show FCA gaining a little market share in the hyper-competitive midsize sedan segment, fell off a cliff not long after. It's not all down to CR's influence, family car sales went soft in the rapid market shift to crossovers, Chrysler dialed back on incentives for the 200, and the car squares off against some excellent competitors, including not only the top-selling Toyota Camry and the Honda Accord but also the Ford Fusion and the excellent new Chevrolet Malibu that stole the spotlight soon after the 200 stepped onto the stage. It's a tight field in which the differences among trim levels, optional equipment, and price points become as meaningful to the buyer's choices as those between makes and models. Even if we'd rather drive our top pick in this segment, the Mazda 6.